Hello and welcome to another Handy Dan project. Firstly, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. So much positive comments and support. It's amazing how this car has made such an impact. Be it funny, cool, sick, either way, it gets attention and makes people smile. I absolutely love the car. If you've been following along, you know, three years ago, it started as a stock car. I was waiting to see what the EV market came up with. So, for the meantime, I bought the cheapest electric car I could find. I humbled myself and figured, well, I'll drive this little thing as I watched the EV market. I had no idea it would come to this. But this little car is so fun to drive. It just makes people look. You know, it all started making it look more like a little toy than it is. So I lowered it. I got new wheels, put some arrow on it, made a wing. This car got so much attention. After a couple of years, I decided to wide body it. You know, just go crazier. It's the feedback I get that drives me. Over 3.3 million views on TikTok. Just amazing. But there's only one thing wrong with this little car. It only has 55 miles of you know, trustworthy range. It works perfectly to go to work, point A to point B. But I miss a lot of car show opportunities that are too far away. We had a 2017 Chevy Volt and we loved the dual purpose. You could drive with no range anxiety on electric and just started up the gas if it needed it. So I decided to do the same thing with my smart. I hardly ride my motorcycle. I love it. But what I love most about my bike is the sound and the power. And if I take that and I put that in my smart car, I can still drive daily to work on electricity using no gas. But if I need to go further, I can start the gas engine, put the EV in neutral and use no electricity. Or I can start both engines, make a really fast smart car. 2,000 pound car with over 250 horsepower instant electric torque and a high revving Jixer engine. Yeah. So follow along as I take two perfectly good vehicles and make them into one. Possibly a big mistake. Lots of little modifications need to be done on the chain drive. I got to take the water pump out and get an electric water pump because my chain is going to have to come through this direction because the sprocket's got to be close down here. I got a quick shifter coming for here. So I'll be able to just slam shifts at full throttle. We're going to take the dashboard, put this whole dash cluster right on top of the smart car dash. So here I've been modeling this all up in CAD. My front bumper sticks out a little bit, so there'll be room for the headers. From front view, got the axle shafts kind of mocked in place. And then from top view, you see how it fits. Um, looks like it'll fit. Need some modifications, I'm sure. So here's the actual differential gear. I did some extensive modeling on it. This is a mock-up uh, with another motorcycle engine. I couldn't find a CAD model of mine. So you see some little interferences here, but this isn't really my engine. And then uh, the sprockets should line up here with a chain drive. And the CV axle will run down underneath the motor. 
There's the firewall to the car and the side frame. And there's again some interference, but until I actually get the motor in position, I don't know what I'll need to cut away. If I go ahead and hide the motor. I got these plates here. This will be the motor mounting plates. And then these two here will mount the differential. The steering box is going to have to move forward to clear the sprocket. So that will be kind of adjusted as needed. I may have to cut the axle shaft down here to get clearance for the sprocket and blow some holes in the side for the CV axles. But on the differential, we do a cutaway. These are the bearings that I have designed to fit to help support the sprag assembly here. And that's the whole sprag part right there. The one way bearing. And this is the mounting part to mount the bearings to the support rack for the car. And on the other side here, it'll just be a bearing with the factory seal and another plate mount. This will be an oil seal. It's got some interference on this part because it'll be pressed back. And this is the original factory seal on the CV axle here. So the center of the diff will be filled with gear oil and there's some holes in the side of the diff here. Oops. So the oil will come through those holes, come down and lubricate the sprag and the seal will stop it here. The oil will run up through this bearing and down to this bearing up to this seal and it will also flow up into this bearing and stop at this seal. And then anything that comes through here gets stopped by the factory CV seal. So now I got all those parts to order. Working on a lot of stuff, getting it ready. Got all these bolts and pieces from McMaster Car. This is the plastic more hardware. So I've got this one-way sprag bearing here. Now this is the, going to be the make or break of the whole deal. Because being an electric car, I cannot have the motorcycle sprocket going around when the engine's not running. It'll probably damage the gear train without having the engine running. So, And also to save energy while driving electric, I will have my CV axles going around, the differential housing will be going around, but the sprocket will not. So I'm going to use this sprag here. So the, the CV axles will be basically connected to the differential going around, but this piece here will be connected to the sprocket. So I'm going to have drill bushings, holes bored in with an EDM, mounted that on there so pretty much the, the differential can go around without the sprocket but when the sprocket goes around it will pull the car so that's how that's going to go we'll put the differential All the gears will be inside the differential here. This is going to bolt on to those bolts. I have all these bearings to go inside. We'll have a bearing here and another bearing supporting 
And then the third bearing out here supporting the differential gear or the chain gear. And so the differential can go around and then the sprocket will pull when I start the gas engine. Problems I have still is I need to find a way to spline this into the front hubs. So over here, I've got this front hub. I started the drill out. I need to find a way to put internal splines in here to drive the front hubs. Also, I'll have to clearance some of the lower knuckle. I got my lathe here, bigger chuck so I can turn some of these pieces. Another thought I had on the front hubs, these are one-way bearings. And I thought, they're real close to fitting in here. I could machine this out nice and square and mill a key slot. And then they're also very close to fitting on the CV axle. They almost fit. I would just have to s turn this down just a little bit and mill in a key slot. But I don't think these bearings are strong enough to turn the wheels. But if they were, that would be totally ideal. Because then the car could be going down the road, tires are going around, but the CV axles, the whole differential chain is just motionless be much more efficient but then when the CV axle goes it would turn the tire we don't have to worry about reverse because on this electric car I already have reverse food for thought and then uh, also working on a way to control the gas throttle so I'm gonna have this is an, an extra pedal out of the car I'm gonna drill a hole here because this is the Hall effect sensor for the electric car but through the center here on the back side I'm going to mount a potentiometer this travels roughly 45 degrees of travel so I've got this power supply running down to these servo controllers and if this mimics the, sur the throttle position, I have a few different resistors, potentiometers here. When I hold this here, so now we have, this will be, that will be idle on the motor. This will be the gas pedal with the 45 degrees of travel. We'll just give the servo a little bit. And then this knob will give it more throttle. So I'll have fine throttle and full throttle. And this knob will be mounted on top of this shift. So you'll kind of twist a knob. You'll pull the shift and give it more gas. Got a lot of projects. Hope you follow along. Thank you.